two dice are rolled, what is the probability that the sum is five if the first die is a one? Now, when they say if the first die is a one, that's the condition. So you immediately know that this is a conditional probability problem, even if it weren't labeled that way already. The next thing you should notice is that you're rolling two dies. Now the sample space for rolling two dies, we've talked about multiple times. My preference is to write it as a six by six array where the first number indicates the uh, roll of the first die and the second number indicates the roll of the second die. So for example, three, four means that the first die was a three and the second die was a four. In any case, you end up with a six by six array, which is a sample space of 36 equally likely possibilities. And the question they ask is a conditional probability problem. What is the probability that the sum is five, given that the first die came up a one. So this is our conditional probability statement. How do you solve it? Well, as I've said before, I consider the problem to be sort of two steps. The first step is to find the original sample space before you even roll the die. What are the possibilities? And then you apply the condition and you get what I call a reduced sample space. So the condition that reduces the sample space is that the first die is a one. So you're not at all interested in the die rolls that first die is a two, or the first die rolls a three, or a four, or a five, or a six. So you've reduced the sample space that you're interested in to these six equally likely outcomes. And that's what I call a reduced sample space. Now from that reduced sample space, you want a sum of five. But if you scan through, there's only one die roll that gives you a sum of five, and that's one four. So the probability that the sum is 5, given that the first die is a 1, is 1 out of 6, because those are equally likely outcomes. So the probability that the sum is 5, given that the first die is a 1, is 1 sixth.